Hi guys, this is how to play the lead line from Mr. Tambourine Man. This is a song from my beginner's course. Uh, if you've come from there, level three, um, you may find this a little bit more challenging because we're playing some single strings. So I'd certainly recommend taking on any other single, ring, single string riffs from the, the major scale series or from the rock riffs with the E minor pentatonic scale first. I've done something with single strings before you do this lesson. But while you're here, feel free to have a look what it entails. You just may find it tricky. And I must say, it was around 18 months ago that I filmed all my beginners course that many of you guys have been looking at. And uh, it was during the summer and it was absolutely swelteringly hot outside and inside. And I was filming the lessons inside thinking, God, wouldn't it be great to be able to do these things outside? And now I kind of have the camera equipment to be able to do it. And you know, the weather's good enough to be outside. So it's a real privilege to be able to do these lessons for you in such an environment. I'm really, really proud of how the channel's grown in all that time. So let's get straight in and have a look at how to play the lead line for Mr. Tambourine Man. Again, nice and slow. So this lead line is at the start and the end of the song and um, it starts on a D note, the seventh fret with your third finger on the third string. So this is string one, two, three. This is fine for electric or acoustic guitar, it will be exactly the same. And then we jump up to our first finger on the thinnest E string at fifth fret. And then our first two notes. Then our third finger is at seventh fret, again on the thinnest E string, and we go back to where it's just come from. So we've got four notes so far. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. And then it's a walk down from there, which is actually our major scale. It's in a different position to how we've covered it in my lessons before. But from there, three, four. So we've come down from fifth fret on the thinnest E string, and we go eight with our little, seven, and five on the B string, on string two. So that second part that we're adding to those first four notes is little finger, third finger, and then first finger, all on the B string. From the top, the order would be Nice and slow. You can hear that major scale sound. It's almost sounding like a nursery rhyme when we play it so slow. One more time. One, two, three, four. Little finger on the second string. Third. And then first. And then to finish off, we go in between first, first finger on that note we just played, and then the first note we played with our third finger. So, a little bit of a jazzy rhythm to it, but one, two, three, four, five. Da, 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 da. Fret numbers wise, we're changing string here, which is the trickier bit, so your picking hand is going to be changing string. But fret numbers, it's five, seven, five, seven, five. A bit similar to uh, the Hey Joe riff that we've had a go at in, in the past, and is another lesson of mine, little Hey Joe riff. Very similar move. So to recap from the top and put all that in order, Nice and slow. That's the whole thing. When you're going in between the first and third finger on this section, 
it is very important to lift off each finger when you're playing the other note. So we can't keep each one down. Hello, Mr. Wasp. <laughs> Otherwise, we're playing a chord if we do that. So we need just one note at a time going in between each of the strings. So one more time, really slow. I'll shout out the fret numbers as we go. Final time. Seventh fret, fifth fret, seven, five, eight, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five. Again. From there, just build your speed. To build that speed, I'd really recommend just going everything with a down pick, though you can do alternate picking, which would be picking everything on a down and then an up throughout the whole sequence. But I really recommend going for a down. And again, to build that speed, my hand is anchored here on my th sort of the, the ball of my hand where the, the base of my thumb is. That keeps your pick as close to the guitar strings as possible and the string you want it to be at. If you kind of anchor this way, you can do it, but it may hinder your progress, if not now, later on. So that's how to do the lead line of Mr. Tambourine Man. As I say, if you want to go on from here, check out any of the major scale videos that are on my website or on the playlist. Subscribe to find all of those. Give this a like if you've dug it. And uh, I'm sure you'll see you again in some of the later videos. Bye for now.